Hey everybody, this is Charlie Weiser coming at you from EasyPiano.com and this is lesson number six. Now this is our free introductory course on intervals. Uh, if you have not signed up for this course yet, uh, go over to EasyPiano.com forward slash intervals. I-N-T-E-R-V-A-L-S and it's a series of lessons that I will email you and some of them are on video and some of them are not on videos but anyway we go ahead and we dive into intervals so in lesson number six here what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna hear some song samples that help you hear and uh, know what some of the intervals sound like we're not gonna go through all of the lessons that we have uh, or all of the intervals I should say in the lessons that we've covered so far but we will go through a few critical intervals uh, we'll start off with the minor second which is a half step do the major second we'll do the major third I think we do a minor third also um, we'll do a fourth and then uh, we'll do an octave so on that note let's go ahead and dive right in so our minor second is a half step if you remember so the famous thing would be like Jaws So enough of that one, but uh, that's a minor second. Now a major second, uh, if you think of happy birthday, so that here, or these two notes here, that's a major second from C to D, so. Okay, a major third would be something like, uh, you know, that Stevie Wonder song, I Just Call It To Say I Love You, this one here. That's a major third. So that one there uh, is a major third. So again, okay. A fourth would be something like Here Comes the Bride. Okay. Um, another idea or another example of a fourth would be like Amazing Grace. So right here. Okay, that's a fourth. Uh, another example of a fourth would be a tune like Autumn Leaves. Now this one would be a little bit different because what happens is with Autumn Leaves... Right there, from here to here, is a fourth. Okay, that would be a fourth, and it goes down. So from here to here is also a fourth. Example of going down a minor third or a step and a half would be Misty. Okay, so again, the minor third is here there going down and uh, example of let's say an octave so an octave remember octaves where you go from one note to the same note in the next register eight keys higher so an example of an octave would be a uh, like a tune uh, summer over the rainbow Okay, so you can see that all songs use intervals, and basically what happens is as you get more advanced with intervals, you'll learn how to connect intervals with each other. So for instance, if I take a tune, Silent Night, okay, when I play that, here to here is a major second, right? Up a whole step and back down a whole step. And then when it goes here, it goes down a minor third. So as you start to combine the different intervals that you're in the process of learning right now, you'll get your songs. And the advantage of combining intervals is that, you know, you really don't need to know what key you're playing in because you'll be able to start on any note and play any song that you know. Okay, so that's a lot more powerful than a lot of other concepts that you're being exposed to. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get going with our next lesson, which will be another video. Again, if you're not presently taking the intervals course, which is free, make sure you come over to easypiano.com slash intervals and sign up. And what the course is is a series of email lessons that I do mail to you. 
And I start you off with the basics of intervals and we kind of move on. So in lesson number seven for the intervals, we're going to be discussing how you can move chords through different intervals to get really nice sounds. So thanks for watching and I hope you are enjoying everything.